Hi there, welcome to Future Looks. I'm Eric. We're going to take a look at Ace Rock's Z68 Extreme 4 motherboard. This is the new Z68 Intel chipset inside. The two biggest features that this board offers is Lucid Logic's Virtue. Essentially, you're able to access uh, the Sandy Bridges integrated GPU, which has done quite well in many of our uh, media tests. And of course, Intel Smart Response technology, where users can easily add an SSD, and you're basically configuring it somewhat in a similar RAID mode fashion, but what you're using the SSD for, the smaller SSD, for uh, caching, which it can speed up your system, especially if you use large programs, uh, those kinds of items that, uh, kind of programs that require a lot of data moved around. Games, not so much. The benefit for those folks is you're, you're probably going to load your game quite a bit faster, especially if it's like a Battlefield Bad Company 2, one of the larger games. And of course, uh, any 3D kind of benchmarking, you'll notice that things start to load quicker the faster you do. So we're going to do an unboxing session here and show you just what this board looks like. All right, this is your uh, product box you're going to see in the store. Inside, right at the very top, you're going to find a very thick user's manual. Your disk with all your drivers and software you're going to need to get hooked up and connected. Some of the literature for getting uh, references mainly. And then software setup guide as uh, some of the software that comes on that driver disk. And then a little bit of an explanation here on their USB technology, some of the features uh, you may or may not receive in your box, explaining how Intel Smart Response works, uh, connecting Lucid Logic's uh, performance. Inside also a two and a half inch here, we have a USB 3 connect uh, little drive tray, and basically this one has a proprietary connector that goes right on the motherboard, and these are really cool because uh, they clean up the system. You don't need to run your wires out the back or anything. And ever so legacy floppy cable. We've got a couple, as a matter of fact, four SATA uh, cables here. These are backwards compatible, SATA 6 or SATA 3 gigabit per second, it doesn't matter. A male to male audio cable here. A little extra connectivity. Now this uh, PCI bracket can uh, replace this two and a two and a half inch uh, drive tray here. Basically, you can just replace, take off the, your connector and put it on the back of your system to take up a PCI slot instead of a case slot. Optional SATA four pin to uh, Mullix to SATA power connectors. Colorful I/O plate for the back of your case, and you're going to need your VGA bridge here. As you can see, it sports a uh, some uh, fancier heat sinks that look a lot like something you would see in maybe an automobile, perhaps, an uh, engine block here. Uh, very attractive, very well machined, very clean. Of course, heat pipes here to help cool uh, your components, keep the heat sinks cool, the VRM to help pull away some of that heat if you're doing some crazy overclocking. Uh, and in terms of overclocking, this has uh, some extra features. They've uh, gotten a little more aggressive with their VRM. They've uh, labeling it Dig DigiPower. A little extra performance out of your CPU socket if you're doing some overclocking. And of course, uh, dual channel DDR3 up to 2133 megahertz, which is pretty common. We've seen some of these modules that uh, are tuned just for Sandy Bridge, like uh, Kingston's dual channel Genesis, the HyperX Genesis. Side here we have eight SATA ports. We got four set, four six gigabit per second, and four three gigabit per second. You've also got uh, your power and reset buttons here, towards the bottom corner. Kind of a nice spot out of the way, a little easier to get to than along the bottom edge on some of the boards. Here we have a light blue USB connector. That's where your two and a quarter your uh, plugs in right there, or two. I'm sorry, two and a half. So it's easy to figure out where it's going to go. It's enough cable here that it can plug here and of course mount to the back of your case or in your uh, drive slot, whichever you need. Little LED readout here for giving your boot sequence, your boot codes. In case something doesn't load up, you, you basically just reference that and you know where your system has encountered a hiccup. We've got 
three PCI slots, and even though there's three, they are. Uh, th this is a 16 full speed 16, and in two way it's 8x by 8x for those who are running a little SLI or Crossfire X action. The audio on board here supports THX or offers THX True Studio Pro. We've seen this on a few other boards where it helps clean up the uh, media playback, give you a little extra something out of the audio codec, the integrated, so uh, you get a little little extra value from that, which is always appreciated. Speaking of audio, you have your six, I'm sorry, five analog, and of course your, your optical out. Uh, two USB 3.0, right above, right below your uh, Cat5, and in all essence, uh, honesty, the Two is probably right on these days, since uh, USB 3.0 is uh, still being adopted by many users. It's quite fast compared to your typical USB 2.0 slots. Now you'll notice on the back here we also got a CMOS clear button. If you happen to connect the system, get your system connected, and you're doing some overclocking and do a little too much, and you can't quite get it up, get it back to uh, up and running, you just press your hold the button in for about five seconds, and it does an automatic clear for you. And then here's your video out. Now you don't usually see this on an ATX platform, but uh, this is a Sandy Bridge platform. And in order to get to the graphics feature uh, built into Sandy Bridge here, you need your uh, your video out. And that's why they have their nice little virtue here from Lucid Logics. The ports here are active while you have your discrete video card in. You can run both at the same time. You just use the software which is uh, quite easy to set up and then there's an on and off button once it's installed that well that's how you access that feature it's quite easy in terms of Intel smart response technology getting your cache SSD connected essentially users just have to set up RAID in the BIOS when they boot make sure their SSD is connected uh, once it's uh, booted up you don't have to set up RAID 0 or RAID 1 the, once the OS is done installing you install Intel rapid storage software and that has the built-in driver that will allow you to turn on accelerate uh, pick out your performance or mode of what you want with your caching your SSD caching and that'll decide your overall uh, performance from there and it's pretty easy to get set up once you've got to that point and that's our Ace Rock Z68 Extreme 4 motherboard you can find these boards on the shelves now for about 190 US and Canadian from the usual places. Uh, it's a pretty good price for a board that uh, offers some overclocking uh, as well as the built-in Lucid Logic's Virtue and Intel Smart Response support. So what we're going to do is put this one to the usual roundup tests and we'll uh, show you the results here on their website. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again soon.